So today's project in the Jetta is installing a blower motor resistor. How do you know if you need a blower motor resistor? Well if you turn your fan on and it doesn't do anything, maybe it only works on four, that's what this one does, that's your blower motor resistor. If you have the digital one where you set a temperature, it's a completely different part, much more expensive. Over here on the passenger side, if you look down here, You'll have these plastic screws, one right here. That's a flat head, you're gonna take that out. And I think that's the only one on my car. We have one more over here, but I don't think we need to take that one down. You can just pull on it. On this car, it's already been pulled on, so I know it's gonna fit right over that screw. You can always save some time by doing that. So here's the blower motor resistor located under the glove box. You have one screw up here at this end, a plug here, and then a screw right behind that. So I removed the two screws holding my blower motor resistor in, and it's pretty obvious what's wrong with it. It's all rusty. That must have been full of water at some point. You're supposed to squeeze these, and then that moves the tabs in. But it wasn't working, so we got rid of those things that would catch the tabs. And we still can't get it out. We're trying to pry on it. Yeah, so it didn't matter. There was no way that was coming off clean without breaking stuff. So what I ended up doing was buying a whole new plug, and it comes with the connections and everything you're going to need. So the next step is we're going to disconnect the battery, and then we'll come back inside and install the new blower motor resistor and the blower motor resistor harness. So all you have to do is take your plug and then match it up with your old plug, and then it can only go into the blower motor resistor one way, so you just do one wire at a time go right down the row and then we'll have them all switched out. So we have all of our wires connected. We put our new blower motor resistor in. That's a pretty easy removal and install. It's only two screws. So we reconnected the battery and now we're going to try it out. Before it only worked on four and now it's working on number one, number two, number three, That fixes the blower motor resistor. Now we have all of our fan speeds working again. The next project is going to be to repair the heater core. We're going to replace that and repair the blend doors. 